The harvesting of wild fish in the ocean puts a tremendous strain on the populations of wild fish. So this is where aquaculture comes in, where it's the intensive farming of fish to take the strain off the wild ocean fisheries. Now, it sounds like a great idea, but there's still uh, significant ecological impacts of aquaculture. So firstly, aquaculture is, the whole idea of it, it's about intensive farming of, of seafood. So it's of shellfish and it's of, um, of fish. So, and it's obviously to, to, to supply that overwhelming uh, need that the seven billion people on Earth have for, uh, for food. So um, some of the ecological impacts, essentially what happens with fish farming is that in estuaries uh, uh, and, and in waterways, farmers build ponds that, uh, that, that are, uh, are netted to prevent fish from, from leaving and escaping, but water is able to uh, flow through. So um, let's talk about some of these ecological impacts. First of all, it's about feeding of the carnivorous fish, so carnivorous species. So carnivorous species need to be fed large amounts of fish for feed. And these are wild caught fish. Now whenever you do wild uh, or catching of wild fish, there's often bycatch. Now bycatch means uh, uh, other species that are caught that are unwanted and they're just discarded and they, they, they die. So anything that's unwanted when these wild fish are caught through netting, anything that's not required is bycatch uh, and that's just discarded and wasted. So that's an impact for sure. The next one is about habitat modification. So um, aquaculture, fish farms, uh, are created usually in estuaries and they uh, frequently require the destruction of the natural habitat uh, and particularly the destruction of mangrove forests. Now we know that mangroves are incredibly important to any ecosystem because mangroves are the nursery for many different fish species. So if those mangroves are removed, then it has an impact on the, um, the development of your wild fish species. As well as that, they um, retain the soil, um, and, and so when you remove the mangroves, you get sedimentation. So there's some of the issues with habitat modification. So this means that we have a loss of wild fish stock because they're not able to, uh, to spawn and for the, um, the juvenile fish to develop uh, into adults and then of course have um, and, and spawn and, and have offspring as well. Another impact is the use of wild seed stock. So many of the aquaculture farms are actually stocked with wild caught fish and so again when uh, when they're being harvested we have um, so we have a reduction in the, the wild uh, numbers but we also have bycatch so again so we decrease the wild stock and we have bycatch again so when these wild seed stock the wild fish are caught to stop the aquaculture ponds um, there's bycatch and that's again it's wasted. So we might just continue over this way. We often have escape of non-indigenous species. So species that are being grown in uh, the fish farm may not be and are often not indigenous to that area and there's often escape. So when there's escape these non-indigenous species tend to um, hybridise with the indigenous species uh, and so there's, there's all sorts of genetic modification happening and as well as that it can introduce pathogens. Which kind of brings us to this next point, whenever you have intensive farming uh, you have a high risk of the development of pathogens and parasites etc.
This always occurs when you have high intensity farming. So in other words, we have sick fish and these, these pathogens and parasites can be introduced to the wild population. Now, so I mentioned before that these ponds uh, contain nets, but of course those nets allow water to be able to move in and out. So that means any effluent and waste from the farm gets discharged into the surrounding waterways. So this effluent could be um, uneaten fish food, it could be fish feces, uh, it could be hormones and antibiotics that the fish are fed, and as I mentioned before it could be pathogens as well. Okay, so what could be the impact of that? So if we've got uneaten fish food and fish feces, then we've got increased nutrients going into that waterway. So there's the risk of, you know, eutrophication. Uh, and then of course, hormones and antibiotics, we've got the risk of those being taken up along the ecosystem further downstream and getting an issue of biomagnification. And of course with the pathogens, if they get introduced to the wild species, the wild species that may not have uh, natural resistance to these pathogens, uh, it's going to reduce the wild stock. So whilst aquaculture is designed to take this, the strain off the wild fisheries, it can introduce ecological impacts to those wild fish numbers. And in fact, it's, um, it, it's been estimated before that, that probably for every one kilo of uh, aquaculture produced fish or uh, shellfish or, or prawns, uh, it probably has a 50% or fi sorry 500 gram loss of biomass of the wild fish population. So that's a large impact. 